So in this video, I want to talk about attraction, what attraction energy really is, what it is to walk up and be powerfully attractive to a woman, to get a woman curious, to want to know who you are, to keep a woman attracted long term, to keep her laughing, giggling, having fun with you and what that energy is, what it looks like and why it's so damn important. And if you stay to the end of this video, you're going to see that there's something even deeper than that energy that drives that energy. And we're going to be getting into that in this video too, and what that really is. So you, when you put these two pieces together, you can be so much more attractive. So now let's get started. To truly understand what attraction energy is, you've got to understand the, the, the flow of seduction. The flow of seduction is typically attraction, which is some form of tension. You're playing with tension, whether you're stepping into tension with really direct communication, you're fucking sexy, whether you're teasing her. Oh, you're such a goofball. What a dork. Why, why, why are you looking at me like that? Oh my God, you would. Where you're, that's kind of pushes, where you're really playing or deep vulnerable compliments. It's something that opens her up. It gets her curious about you. And then there's rapport or comfort or whatever you want to say in that section, vulnerability, where she says, wow, I, this guy really gets me. I feel like I've known him forever. I feel this bond with him. And then there's seduction, which is basically amping up attraction a lot and rapport all at the same time. And so there's, as she gets more attracted, she's feeling more connected, more intimate to you. And you have this moment of deep intimacy together. And uh, unless she's a party girl, then then it all changes. You guys all know I say that a lot in the videos. The party girls favor more of the attraction side. So how does this really work? And by the way, there's one more. There's the guy who leads with seduction. It's the guy who leads. That's a more advanced. Maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. But if you can't do attraction or poor, you can't lead with seduction. It's very difficult. So that's going to be a more advanced version of approaching and meeting women. Now, let's let's dive in even deeper now. What is attraction and why is it so important? Well, when you're walking down the street and you see like a salesman on the side of the road and he's, he's, he's like, say you're walking through the mall and there's a guy who wants to sell you something and he starts talking to you. They're typically got to bust through your wall. You got a thick wall. It's going to get thicker the more he's coming towards you, most likely, or she. And if they're not good at what they're doing, they're not going to bust that wall. That wall will only get thicker. But if they're really good, they might be able to poke through that wall. They might be able to make a, a what we call burst the bubble, burst that bubble open. And that's going to be done with attraction energy. They're going to cause you to open up, laugh a little bit, start to go, this dude's, this dude's got balls or he's, he's fucking cool. And the next thing you know, you're talking to him because he or she did such a good job of getting you opened up. Once the attraction energy is there for a little bit and you're curious about this person, that first 30 seconds, three minutes, five minutes of conversation, is oh it has happened and you're like who is this person and you might have a moment where you really relate on a level and you have a deep moment a deep little conversation where you're like yeah that's really true and that's the comfort part that's the vulnerability part now we're not going to go into that yet we're going to go back to the attraction what is it that makes attraction good now in a short term when you're just walking up to somebody it's that ability to burst the bubble make somebody laugh have, get them to have a good time get them curious about you get them having fun it's primarily fun it's 70, 80% fun and not entertaining kind of fun, fun where you're like having fun with the person. You're not dancing for the person. That's really, really important. We used to call them dancing monkeys, the guys that would just go out and make people laugh, but people were laughing at them and not with them. So attraction energy is about this fun. It's about the bringing this playful energy. The second part of attraction energy is about your ability to handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. See, the dancing monkey doesn't necessarily instill this idea that he can handle the shit when he shit hits the fan. And you've got to have some of that too. Can this guy deal with uh, an asshole? Let's say, let's say a waiter's being super rude to your date. Can you deal with that situation? Maybe they're serving really bad food. Or can you send the food back, manage that, ground that out? Somebody's bumping into your girl when you're talking to her at the bar. Can you adjust that situation to make it better? Your ability to handle the shit when the shit hits the fan is super attractive too. Initially, when you first walk up though, it's gonna be about the fun. It's gonna be about your ability to penetrate her bubble and bring fun. If you can't do that, the bubble is gonna get thicker. If you can do that, the bubble is gonna get thinner. And a lot of women are very curious when they're at bars. When the guys come over, they're gonna wait and see. And they see this guy looks like he can handle some tension. She's not thinking that literally, but she's feeling that. Let's see what he can do. And he starts to walk over and his ability to bust through her wall and open her up more is damn, that's fucking sexy. This is why women shit test. They'll push harder and they'll try to create a thicker wall because you're doing such a good job sometimes. They want to see what you can do. And the more of your ability to bust through that wall and handle her and then bring more fun, make her laugh, make her giggle, actually gets her more turned on. And so 
they get more curious about that person. So this is what attraction really is. Long term, again, it's your ability when she's in a bad mood to tease the shit out of her and bust her out. When she's being a bitch or being rude to you for some reason, it's your ability to ground her out, say no, set a boundary, and bust through the wall and open her back up. It makes her feel safe again. That's why attraction is so damn powerful. Now, in my last video, if you haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. It's all on how to use banter to be attractive and I'm using banter lines and then teaching you how to make them your own, how to develop them, how to redevelop the, the, the thinking in your brain so you can deliver these spontaneously with strangers. So this is what, uh, going back to attraction now, this is what attraction really is. It's busting uh, the bubble that she's got, opening it up and creating a sense of curiosity on her part. Now, how does attraction ultimately work with tension? You see, if you're not good with tension, how are you going to bust the bubble open? How are you going to get her curious? How are you going to pop that bubble and get her wanting to connect with you? If you're bad with tension, why would she even care, right? See, when you walk up and you say, you know, you're a dork. Oh my God, look at you. You're such a dork. I saw you standing over here and I just had to say hi. And she's like, what the fuck? Who is this guy? You know, coming over. You say, you know, you're fucking beautiful. You look amazing um in the, in that dress here you're, you're and you, i just love the shape of your body you have such a a flow to the way you move you know saying something racy and risque she'll be like this dude's got balls right um i remember one time i said to this woman she was standing we were at a convention and she had taken her heels off she's a beautiful woman and she was holding them and uh, i was walking by her and i looked at her and i said something to the effect i'm not to paraphrase but i said something to the effect of oh you're you're you, you know, oh, your feet are killing you, huh? And she said, I can't remember what I said, what I said, but something like that. And she goes, yeah, it's, it's been a long night or something like that. And I said, well, I really appreciate that you wear those. And, and she goes, what do you mean? And I go, well, it makes your ass look amazing. I, I, I get it. And, uh, and uh, something like that. And I don't know, but she just lit up. She loved it. It was really ballsy. Um, I can't remember the exact words I use, but, but women actually wear, and I, and I knew this, they wear the heels because it lifts their ass and makes their ass pop out more. They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. And so when I acknowledge that in that moment, it lit her up a little bit and, and we ended up really connecting. It was a great conversation. That was a really beautiful, beautiful evening. And so, um, so there was that lot of tension in that. There was a lot of stepping into tension and there's grounding out that tension and being with that moment, see? And, um, and then there was also a risque element in the way I approached it. Now, with tension, you got to understand that, that it can go good, it can go bad. And that's why so many guys avoid attraction. They don't want to get a girl mad at them. They don't want to piss her off. They don't want to call her a dork and have her get mad. They don't want to call her a goofball and have her get mad. But guys that are really confident, really solid, they thrive on the tension. They love the tension. They know the tension gets the girls curious. It's all about fun. You see, we thrive on tension as human beings, not just as women. You go out and you compete in competitive sports or watch sports because of the tension element. If there's no tension, it would be boring. We go watch movies with an exciting action star because of the tension tension element because there's going to be tension in that and we want to see the action star overcome like the hero's journey a certain amount of tension that wakes us up makes us feel alive we jump out of airplanes and go ride roller coasters because we love the tension element we get on surfboards because of it women go watch romantic comedies because of the tension element there's the guy he's screwing up he's getting it all wrong everything falls apart and he finally steps into his power and he grows some balls and he set, and he does things he's never done before and he becomes a new human being and and he steps into tension and in the end she falls in love with him that's all those movies basically wrapped up into one basic idea and so when you get good with tension you can get good with attraction let's look at another form of attraction to understand this a little deeper let's talk about being out in a battlefield if you look at the battlefield the soldiers that are out there what are they doing what are they what are they really doing they, 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 the really good soldiers the soldiers or the or the marines that are top notch, that are, that are special forces, they can handle the most tension. They can go out there under pressure, under potential for death and stay calm under pressure, deal with the situation, make shit happen 
and they can they can they can look at all this chaos and still be clear that's very attractive even to other soldiers you and other marines you can look at them and say i trust this guy this is a guy i want to follow but with women it's the same thing now remember earlier i, re I referenced this in the video that there's two sides. There's the attractive side, the playful side, teasing, bantering, playfulness. And then there's your ability to handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. And in the beginning, you really want to master that playful side, that fun side that can bring the fun. And then as you start to date more and more, you're going to need more of that handling the shit when the shit is fan. Well, you actually kind of need both right away, but you're going to lead with the playfulness when you walk up especially in the first 30 seconds to three minutes. That's why it's so important. And then what does this do on a deeper level? Well, if you don't know me from Adam and I walk up and I start bantering with you and I handle it really well, I ground it, I tease a little bit, I give some, I give some shit, but then I stay calm under pressure. It causes you to get curious. I'm going to say that again. It causes you to get curious. Who is this motherfucker? Oh, I want to know him a little better. There's something about him. You go from having a wall to a stranger to who is this person? It's like a really good trailer to a really good movie and you can't wait to go see it. Wow, that, that, that story sounds awesome. The actors are amazing. The way, they, the way they read that line in that trailer was really cool. That scene was really cool. I wanna go see this movie. And now you're really looking forward to seeing it. So that first 30 seconds to three minutes really opens that door to causing them to say, I wanna get to know you better. And then maybe you banter a little bit more and then they get more curious. And at a certain point, there's going to be this moment where they kind of completely open their walls and surrender to you and they stop and they go, you're interesting. That's the moment. If you are really good at it, and I'll have to do a video on this at some point that you switch to the vulnerability and the comfort for a little bit, you switch to, yeah, Hey, who are you as a person? This is when we stop this pushing energy, this momentary energy that handles shit, gets things done, doesn't have time to sit there like in the moment, in the heat of battle, you don't have time to sit there and contemplate your emotional state, your, your pains from the past, the things that you think are beautiful. You have to deal with shit. But the moment you have that, that, that point at which she says, wow, you're interesting. I want to know you deeper. And you catch that and you go, yeah. That's when you contemplate, let's, let's share some deeper emotions about what we really feel together, who we really are, something that's beautiful. That's the comfort stage. That's the rapport, the vulnerability stage. It may only last a second. It may last a few seconds. It may last five minutes. It depends on the person. Like, is she really a deep person? Are you a deep person? Is she really a bantery person? I mean, some women are going to be 80% banter and 20% rapport. Some are going to be the opposite. Some are going to be in the middle. Right. And you got to adjust and figure out what you want, where do you land on that equation and kind of adjust and flow with it. But the moment that happens, having that little bit of rapport is what causes her to say, wow, this guy isn't just fun, but there's something about him. And now she's really going to want to get to know you better. This is what's going to cause her to want to respond to your text later, to call you back later, to go deeper with you, to spend time with you, to possibly fall in love with you because of that rapport. So think about it this way, that bantery side that pops everything open and hits and teases and plays and pushes buttons and says, hey, you know, you're such a goofball. You would, why, why would you, why would you do that? Come on, don't get, no, you don't get, don't get me mad. I'm gonna have to come over there and spank you. You know, that type of energy or you're something about you. You are so fucking sexy. Don't let that go to your head. You know, something like that that causes her to be curious is fun, but it can be forgot by tomorrow. It's like that dude was fun, but I'm moving on. The rapport causes her to remember you the next day and say, wow. So if that's the case, why don't we lead with rapport? Well, we don't lead with rapport because if I walk up with rapport and share deep vulnerable stuff and there's no opening, the bubble's not open. That's just freaking weird, man. If I, if I walk up and I try to connect with her and say, you know, tell me something deep about you. Tell me something you really love or care about. Something that means something to you. I'm really curious. And she's like, why? Who are you? I don't know you. You haven't opened her up to be curious, to want to share that information. So you haven't really earned that right to go into rapport yet. You haven't earned that right to have her say, I want to know you at a deeper level. That starts with attraction energy.
So I'm going to encourage you. I think on this channel, we've emphasized rapport a lot because it really creates these deep, powerful connections, makes women fall in love with you and you fall in love with women. It creates so much beauty in life when you can really connect with another human being really deeply. But attraction energy is just as important. Your attraction energy is constantly opening you up for deeper levels of rapport with a beautiful woman. Even if you've been with her for five years, your ability to go back and tease her and banter with you causes her to laugh so much that she constantly wants to go deeper. And if your relationship's not going deeper over a lifetime, not constantly deepening, then you're doing something wrong. So your ability to, to, to 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now to keep teasing your beautiful woman not only keeps you feeling alive, but keeps her feeling alive. Now, if you look at this at a deeper level, attraction isn't just with dating. These same energies apply to everything. Sales, it applies to your business. Your ability to bring attraction and to go out and be free from outcome, expressive, spontaneous. These are the energies of attraction. I can be loud. I can be gregarious. I can be expressive. I can tease. I can play is what brings so much fun to life. It's fun. It's pure fun and your ability to handle shit when spontaneous shit happens out on the street, your ability to ground it out, deal with the situation, make decisions under pressure. That's what attraction energy is. And a rapport is all about your ability to stop and just savor the moment, be with somebody, share something deep and vulnerable, something you don't share with a lot of people, something that you that is personal to you and then and maybe it's a beautiful poem, it's something that makes you cry, it's something that makes you feel deep, it opens your heart. It's something that makes you feel bonded to another human being. And so those two are really, really essential in life. And when you learn to bring attraction, you can get up in the morning excited about your re day, ready to tackle the day, ready to ta tackle all the difficult challenges. And that's why I want to incorporate more and more attraction into your lives. Okay. Now, so hopefully you're getting the idea of this video. That you, that you, what attraction really does, that it is the energy of the open. It's the energy of walking up to a woman you've never met before and saying, hi, it's where everything starts. It's where everything, where the magic begins to happen, your ability to step into attraction of energy. And then there's the rapport energy, your ability to go deep with the human being after you've opened her up. Then there's seduction, where it's where the two start to blend together and you go really deep into tension, which drives attraction and into rapport where you get really vulnerable, intimate, physically together at the same time. And if you're really good, you learn to bring both of those, like a, the, 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 the typical seducer from history. I think like the Cyrano de Bergerac is how I picture it, or the Don Juan. He just brings attraction and rapport right from the beginning. A lot of attraction, a lot of vulnerability right from the beginning. But that, but until you master the two, you can't do that one. So in the beginning of this video, I did say at the end, I want to comp, I want to talk about what drives all of these energies. Because it is possible to become very attractive in a sense that you can do banter, you can rapport, you can do teasing, you can get really good at calibrating that shit, but still have trouble in this area. And what, what the cause of that is, or even have trouble learning this area, like let's say you're trying to learn it, but you keep failing and you're not quite getting it right. It's because deep down inside, you don't think you're attractive to women. You feel insecure inside about your attractiveness to a beautiful woman as a man. Like, why would she like me? I'm ugly. I don't have enough muscles. I don't have this. And if you have that running in the background while you're trying to do attractive energy, you're trying to play with tension, push boundaries, tease, it's always going to mess with what you're doing. Because ultimately, the sexiest men in the world, they feel like women are attracted to them. They feel like, yeah, why wouldn't a woman be attracted to me? Women like men. They want to have sex with men. They want to be on dates with men. They want to do wild things with men. That's that's part of the nature of things. It's polarity. So, yeah, why wouldn't she be attracted to me? And a lot of guys that come to me, they don't feel that. They feel like, why would a woman be attracted to me? I'm going to do these techniques because I have to to get a woman. But even if you get her, if you don't feel like you deserve her, like you're truly an attractive motherfucker deep down inside, a sexy bastard, as I often say, to beautiful women, then you're going to even have a hard time keeping her or you're, you're going to feel like you don't deserve her. And so working that piece out while working the skill sets of attraction out, they, they, they go hand in hand, is so powerful 
for going out in the world and just having a fucking blast. If you nail attraction and you don't nail rapport, you can still go out and have a blast, make girls laugh, giggle, have fun. You might have trouble keeping girls. You might get a, you might end up picking up on more party girls than anything else because they love to stay in attraction most of the time. But and, and you'll have an amazing wild time with people and eventually you'll want more rapport because you're going to want a deeper connection. But for a while, you can really learn to have fun, especially if you're a nice guy who spent your whole life trying to make people happy, learning to let that go and bring fun and offer fun as your primary value is so damn powerful. Bring the fun, bring the teasing, bring, bring the playing, bring the banter and go, learn to go out and have fun and then start developing the rapport as you move along. Start developing your ability to create more comfort and then and, and more seduction. Because I promise you, if you start with really good attraction, things will naturally happen. Things will start breaking open. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of it. Make sure to check out my previous video on this, the one I did last week, where I really teach you how to experience a deep, uh, how to how to take banter lines, excuse me, and learn to make them your own, learn to play with them to create more attraction. That's a powerful, powerful video. And I also have a video from a few weeks ago on, on you can look it up, it's on being a sexy bastard. I got a few of those out there if you really want to work on the internals of feeling like a sexy man. But definitely check out that banter video. That one is, uh, is, is a really good video. Now, with that said, I want to create more videos on subtler aspects of bringing tension, playing with tension. I've got a bunch planned and I've got some people here I've been doing all kinds of experiments with and uh, it's been a blast so I'm thinking about bringing one of them on the channel and doing some videos with him I've been teaching him and really discussing some of the subtler elements of playing with tension and attraction and bringing fun especially with people you've just met so definitely comment in the video if you want to see more of that uh, if you're good at attraction comment in the video if you're better at rapport where you better good at attraction or rapport are you bad at both I definitely want to hear that comment. I go right after these videos out, usually within a week, and I, and I go through and scan the comments several times. So make sure you put in there what you want me to see within that first week, and I will most likely see it. And then I have other people constantly monitoring the channel for other stuff you guys put in there throughout time. Um, so with that said, uh, make sure to like, uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, help us to get that hundred thousand mark, but also make sure you don't miss a, any one of these videos because there's so much information, so much content I want to bring. I want to help change your life and I don't want you to miss any hit that bell notification. Uh, again, make sure to put that comment I just talked about. And, uh, with that said, remember only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.